for read aloud we're going to read this book it's not a story this is a book called signs of old of all kinds so this is a different kind of book this is a book about facts that means everything that you see in here is real and when we read stories about like the gingerbread man or marisol mcdonald that's fiction it's pretend so this book doesn't have an illustrator because there's no drawings. It has pictures or photographs. And that means someone took them with a camera. So what do you think this book will be about? That's right, it's all about signs because we're learning about signs. So here's a sign on, on the front cover. There's this sign that says, come in, we're open. Where do you think you will find a sign like that? Hmm, maybe in front of a store, right? It'll say, come in, we're open, so you can come inside the store. What about this sign? This is an important one. What is this symbol? What do you think this symbol means? Yes, this person in this symbol looks like they're going to fall. And the word says, caution wet floor uh oh that means don't walk here because you may fall because the floor is wet let's see wow this one has a big arrow and it's going up around and down and it's pointing down this means if you're driving you can turn around and go the other opposite direction this sign has a big arrow too and the word says parking and then this is a sign that's telling you that this little plant called the parsley is for sale and it costs 89 cents for this bunch so signs are really important because signs tell us a message they're always trying to tell us something important so i'm going to open the book all right and we saw the first cover Signs are everywhere. We see signs all around us every day. Let's explore signs of all kinds. Well, here's well, here's a picture of a little bunny. And here is a sign that's the shape of an arrow. And it says this way. That means that we're going to go this way. And we're going to open the page, open the book and turn the page over. Sign shapes. Signs come in all different shapes. They can be triangles, circles, diamonds, squares, and many more shapes too. What shapes do you see? So here's some shapes here. What shapes do we have? A circle, a square, a diamond, or sometimes it's called a rhombus and a triangle and here they are <clears throat> this sign is in a circle shape and remember we talked about this sign this sign says railroad crossing because the words rail road begin with letter r and this x looks like a cross so this sign's telling you that a railroad or a train is going to pass by and you need to be careful and look before crossing the railroad tracks. This sign is a square and this sign has a symbol. The symbol is this per these two people and one's wearing a dress and one is not. So this symbol is telling you a man and a woman. So this is telling you that there's probably bathrooms close by. This sign is a rectangle. A rectangle has two short sides and two long sides. And it says something. It says one way and an arrow is pointing that way or to the right. This one is a diamond. And what is that symbol in the middle? It's a bicycle. What do you think that means? That means you can ride your bike wherever you see this sign. Oh, and what about this triangle sign? It has a deer 
that's telling you and it's got a deer and it has red around it so it's almost a warning telling you to be careful because a deer there's deer around and you don't want to accidentally hurt it with your car right so signs are so important because they tell us a message good wow colorful signs signs also come in all different colors bright colors make them easy to see or to notice remember that word notice miss christina had said it last week when we see colorful signs your eyes focus on it and then you know that you need to pay attention to the message it's trying to tell you what colors do you see all right let's see all right so here's some colorful signs <clears throat> This sign is pink, and it says, I love you. This little girl wrote a sign that said, I love you in pink. Oh, here's another sign, and it's green. And a lot of our street signs have the color green. So when you're driving in a car or your parents are driving and they're looking for a street sign, they know that sometimes it is green so you can see it better. You can notice it. Oh, well, these kids are selling lemonade and they made their sign yellow like lemons. Oh, this boy's holding an orange sign that says slow, slow down. This sign is red and it's really big. It says get your tickets here. It's really red and big. So if you're far away and you're looking for a sign, you can notice it. And this sign is blue and it's a person holding a child's hand. That means you have to be careful and hold hands when crossing. Super important. Symbols and words. Now some signs have symbols, some have words, and some have both. Signs tell us a message. Words and symbols on signs tell us what we need to know. What symbols and words do you see? All right, hold on. Oh. Oh, hold on, guys. Okay, sorry about that. Okay, now this sign doesn't have any words, but what do you think it says? It has a picture of a duck and two little chicks. So that means, or ducklings, that means that there might be a pond or lake nearby, and that means that there's ducks crossing the road. So please be careful if you see them. All right, so many different signs. This sign here has words, it says farmer's market, and that's why they put pictures of vegetables. This little gnome is holding a welcome sign. Here's another street sign, but it's not green. It's white. So see, sometimes street signs are green or white or different colors, depending on where you are. And this sign is another bicycle sign, but it's blue this time. It's telling you that there's somewhere you can ride your bike. Neighborhood signs. Tell, signs tell us what's around us in our community. So if you take a walk around your block with mom or dad or your chia or your babysitter, you might see some signs like this one. What do you think this sign means? This sign means that there's a fire station close by. All right, well, here's some more signs. This big blue sign that starts with the letter H says hospital. That means there's a hospital close. This sign says school. This one says library. <clears throat> this one says United States Post Office. What, what's that? This is a place where you send packages or mail and they mail it to other places around the country or the world. 
And this one says dog park. And you can tell it says dog park because what are these little pictures next to it? Little dog prints. What do these signs tell us? Signs always tell us a message. Signs that help us find. Signs help us find what we're looking for. So you always know where to go. That's why they're so important. What do these signs help you find? Let's see. Now this sign here has only one symbol, but it has a lot of word. Uh, it has a lot of letters and two words. Now this sign says public parking. That means that if you're in your car and you wanna go somewhere, but you don't know where to park, there's a sign here with an arrow pointing you to a garage to park your car. Ooh, now this sign you will see at the airport. And how do we know? Look at the symbols. I see a picture of an airplane and a picture of some luggage. And it says arrivals, baggage reclaim. So this airplane is landing and it's telling you that over here you can find your suitcase or your luggage if you were just on an airplane. Aha, here's a symbol again, this sign with a woman and a man. And it means that there's a bathroom nearby. Hmm, where do we find brown signs? Brown signs are special because they only mean two things. They mean that you're in a park and it's trying to show you something. This sign says trail. A trail, a walking trail or a hiking trail in a park. You won't really find this sign in the streets because the street signs are very important to tell you how to stay safe. This sign you will find in a park because it's something fun to do, like to walk on a trail. Oh, here's another fun sign it says maze entrance because this is a corn maze. It's something fun to do. Now here's a very important sign that you will see almost everywhere. And it has a word with letters and two arrows pointing left and right. And it says exit. That means if you're inside a building, you can exit or find a door to go outside this way to the right or that way to the left. There is, when you see this sign, that means there's somewhere to leave a building. Signs that guide. Guide, what does that mean? Guide means it shows you where to go. Signs guide us whether we are walking, riding a bike, or taking a bus. So here's that same sign, it says this way, and you follow the path, uh-oh, look. What does this sign mean again? Railroad crossing, and here's a pretend train, and the, the stick is going up, that means the railroad is gonna cross over, so you need to stop right there. How can these signs help guide the bunny to the carrots? So let's see, if the bunny were going to go through the path, around and up, stop at the railroad and let it cross. Once the train is crossed, then you can keep going. And I see, oh, this is a special sign. This sign says detour. That means that this road here is closed. You cannot pass. But when you see this orange detour sign, it's telling you a different route or different way to go. So the sign is pointing this way. So the bunny has to go this way down, can't go up because it's, it's closed. So the bunny's gonna come down and here's a special sign. What is this sign? This is a person and it's in between a short line and a long line. That means that this area is where people cross the street and it looks just like this on the ground when you're outside. When you see one, two, three, four, five 
really big white rectangles. That means that you can cross the street in this white path. Okay, so important to remember that because if you're crossing on this path, cars will stop right in front of it to let you cross. But if you cross the street anywhere else, a car might not see you and it's dangerous. So the bunny has to go down here and look, someone is crossing where these pretend ducks are crossing over. So they're gonna cross and the bunny will wait and they go down, 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 down. <clears throat> and here's this sign, one way. So the bunny has, bunny knows to go this way and not that way. And then, oh, reach the carrot. So we followed all the signs to get the bunny to the carrot. Signs that keep us safe. Signs keep us safe. They alert us when we need to be careful. So here's our dog, right? Our little puppy. And here's that sign of, again that said caution wet floor, right? Wet floor. So we need to be careful to walk, either not to walk or to tiptoe on wet floor so we don't fall. All right, so there's signs that keep us safe. So let's look at this one. Wow, this one has words with two different colors. The first word is in the color red. Remember, the color red is almost like a warning and it says, beware. That means be aware or pay attention because there's a dog. So it says, beware of the dog. So this person put this sign on their fence to let you know that there is a dog in the backyard. So dogs like to protect their homes. And if you're a stranger and you go inside someone's backyard and there's a dog, the dog will bark at you because you don't belong there. And this sign tells you, beware of the dog because the dog is protecting his house. Hmm, this is an interesting sign. What do you think this sign says? What do you see? Now this orange circle is a life preserver. And we see this when we go to the beach or we're going to the pool. And it's a floating device we use if we can't swim. And the sign says, no lifeguard on duty. Swim at your own risk. So this is telling you that if you go into the water, there's no lifeguard, no one there to help you if you can't swim or you need help in the water. Swim at your own risk. So that means you swim, but you know that it's probably not a good idea to go in the water without a lifeguard. Ooh, this one says, please slow down. We love our children. And a heart is a symbol too for love. So this is saying, please slow your car and watch out for children playing. Oh, this is a good one. What do you think this says? What kind of symbol is this? Like that. It's a hand and there's three little squares here and a big red circle and a line. And it says, do not feed the animals. They are on special diets. So sometimes if you go to a petting zoo or farm, you can buy some corn and you or pellets and you can give it to the animals and you can feed the animals. But sometimes if you go to a zoo, they will see this sign and they do not want you to feed the animals. Do not give them any food because they have special food that the zookeepers give them. So this one says, do not feed the animals. And you all know what this sign says. That's right, that's a stop sign. Whew, so many signs. These are signs around the world. No matter where you go in the whole world, you will see signs. And this is very important because sometimes 
you will go to a different country where you don't they don't speak English or they don't speak Spanish or they don't speak Portuguese. But what's really important is that all our signs mean the same thing all over the whole world, even if you don't speak the language. So let's see. Now, this sign here is from a country. It, um, I think, I don't know where this country is, but these are letters in another language and we don't know what it says. But what do you think it says? Because look at the symbol. Look at the symbol and what kind of picture is this? It's a car and it's blue and there's a square on top that might be a light. I think this car says that there's a police station nearby. Yep. So let's see this sign. Oh, this is a cool sign. This is a cool sign and look, it's from a place called India, really far away. And there's a picture of a elephant and they have elephants that walk on the road. And this means to be careful of elephants. That's really cool. Now, when we go see elephants, we'll see them in a zoo. But in India, you can find an elephant on the road or the street, just like we have ducks and deer. And the sign says, be careful, there's elephants around. Now this sign is not, it's not in English, it's in German and it's a country called Germany and it's far away. But the sign, we can read it. Okay, so what is the symbol that you see? It's a boy and a girl and looks like they're running. And the sign I think says, watch out or warning. Kinder means children. So this sign says children are playing or walking. I think this means that children are playing. So it might be by a park. All right, what about this sign? This is in, hmm. I think this is another German sign. And it's a picture of a person crossing the street with a child and a ball. This is a road, a car and a house. Wow, that's a lot. I guess this sign means to be careful on the street, that there's children playing, so drive your car slowly. When you go home today, what signs will you find? All right, well this sign, what do you think this sign is? A bus stop. All right, that's the end of our book. So cool. All the signs that we see in signs tell us a message. All right, guys, see you later.